Okay, here we are in Planetly, and uh, it gives you two free itineraries. So I'm going to put in a real place. Uh, I am going to Aspen. I'm going, I am traveling from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm going to Aspen, Colorado. I'm going to go in July, and I think I'm going to be there for five days. Okay, hiking, farmer's markets, art, shopping, festivals. Submit travel plan. Okay, I just noticed that you have an opportunity to set your travel profile. So this is where I would say, like my husband and I like to walk a lot. We don't like to take, you know, we don't like to take cars when we don't have to. We like to ride bikes and I'm a vegan and so forth, but I didn't see that. Um, let's see what it created for us. All right, so it gives you an idea of the weather, estimated budget of things like meals, taxi, public transport, eating out. So this would have been helpful if I would have told it that I was vegan. Accommodations, day-by-day -day plan. Morning, arrive in Aspen and check into your hotel. Start with a, a leisurely walk around and look at shops and cafes. Then the art museum then dinner at the White House Tavern. Enjoy a morning hike at Smuggler Mountain for panoramic views. Yeah, I mean, this is good. I think that if I would have put in more specifications about like our preferences, it, it would have been a lot better. Now, the thing is, ChatGPT really does a good job of this. I think the benefit here, honestly, is the user interface, and that's pretty much it. So I don't know what this costs, but I don't see it being like hugely better than chat GPT natively.